your screen. That's all we're gonna talk about in this video. Why? I explain you right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Okay, I'll need to know something from you and I will not tell your partner. Promised. How much did your rig cost? 3,000? 5,000? 10,000? More than 10,000? I thought so. And then I hear a lot that people are asking what computer they should buy, that it runs very well with PixInside, right? So you tune it up a little bit, a little bit more memory, better processor, that PixInside runs really fast. And then you spend a lot of time outside acquiring data. And then you spend a lot of time inside processing your pictures, right? And then you watch your picture at your business display, which you bought at Costco for $100 when there was the last sale. I might be wrong, but I honestly never see in forum the question, which display should I buy to see my astrophotos in the best quality? And so I just assume most people do not really consider that. Even with notebooks, it's never the question, which notebook should I buy, which has the right display, but which notebook should I buy that ha has the right performance for the processing? Now, just to be clear, if you look at your picture at a cheap business monitor, you could actually save probably half of the amount that you paid for your rig because all the details, all the resolutions will never show on them. And from that point of view, I thought it makes sense to tell you five criteria where you should look out for when you buy your next display. And the first one might be quite a controversial one, but it's also from my point of view, one of the most important, and that is buy a glossy screen. No nano texture, no mate finished, nothing like that. It takes away so much of the contrast. It takes away so much from the black and you know, it's space. The black is one of the most dominant colors in our pictures. So we want to have it pitch black and to have it pitch black, you need to have a glossy display because you anyway will not look at your pictures outside, but you look at it in your dim home environment. The second criteria, let's stay with the black. You want to have a screen which gives you the best blacks possible. And that would be ideally an OLED screen. So for example, looking at your pics on the newest iPad Pro must be amazing. But there are also OLED displays for regular size that just quite expensive. Number three is the brightness and the brightness in screen is measured in nits. You see that a lot at Apple events where they tell you the screen can go up to 600, 1000, 1600 nits. Why is this important? Because we have stars that are bright, that glow. So we want to have the pitch black for the sky and we want to have the brightness for the stars, for the nebulosity, which then glows. Number four is the resolution. You buy these very expensive cameras with 26 megapixels, 40 megapixels, and then you even drizzle them times two and you get these huge resolutions. And if your display cannot match that, it's kind of pointless. This all gets lost again in the display. So at a minimum 4K, your monitor should support. And last but not least, screen size. I always discourage people from buying notebooks as their sole processing tool because a notebook has in a maximum a 15 inch screen. And looking at your picture at a 32 inch display is just something completely different. Again, you wanna look at the detail, at the faint structures. You cannot do that on such a screen. So I personally living in the Apple world, I have a studio display, which has 5K, which does not have an OLED display, but still a very bright, very good display. 
it's glossy and I really enjoy looking at my pictures on it. If I would have more money, yes, an XDR display, which has even, which is bigger, which has 6K, which is even brighter, would definitely be amazing, but there are financial limitations. But also on the PC side, you even have a much wider variety on screens. So all I wanted to tell you, when you next time have some spare money and your instinct tells you to buy something new to acquire the data, perhaps you first have a look what you actually have at the moment to consume the data. Because it doesn't make any sense if you get a higher quality of acquiring, if you cannot even enjoy the level of quality that you acquire presently. I'm interested what you think about that. Please leave it in the comment below. Also, if you know a very good display that you would recommend to others for looking at astrophotos. And with that, see you next time and clear skies. Thank you.